In this video, I'm going to go over how to create a made-to-order or MTO product in Odoo. So we're going to produce a product based on the demand on a sales order. We're going to go into our inventory app and take a look at what we've created already. We have a manufactured product. If we go to our inventory, we see we have manufactured selected as our routes. This um, We deselected the buy route. We can deselect can be purchased as well because we won't be purchasing this product a storable product and we currently have zero on hand we have a bill material here that has two components in it component one and component two and we'll consume one of each if we go back to our products using the breadcrumbs you'll see our components right here we have 10 units of each in stock now we want to have the MTO route and the MTO route is actually built into Odoo by default all we have to do is go to settings activate our multi-step routes and save this is going to give us new menu items under configuration so we can look at our routes if we go to filter archive we'll see replenish on order route and this route allows us to pull our stock from our warehouse stock when it is needed in our partner location slash customer um, and also we'll pull from our warehouse stock when it's needed in our virtual location slash production. So we'll archive this. Now we can remove this, remove this archive filter. We have replenish on order set right here. Now we can go back into our products. We're going to go into our manufactured product and we're going to set the replenish on order route. We can also select this on the sales order line if we wanted to. Now I'm going to go to our sales order, click create, create a new customer, and I will add the manufactured product. If we did not select a route on the product but we still wanted to make this an MTO, we can easily select a route here and this will override the route that we have on the product. But since we have it on the product, there's no need to select a route here. So we'll save, we'll confirm this. And as you see, a delivery order is created as well as a manufactured order, manufacturing order. The delivery order is the delivery order that goes out to the customer. If we click into this, we'll see that this is gonna get sent to customer one. We currently don't have this product in stock. We have one that we're expecting because we're going to be producing this unit. And the sales order also links with the smart button to the manufacturing order, as you can see here. So now we can produce it in our manufacturing app. So we'll go into manufacturing, and we see our manufacturing order. We can produce it, and again, you see the smart button attaches it right to the sale order. So I'll mark this as done and, and complete this. Now if I go to our products, you'll see that we have one manufactured product in stock. And if we click into our forecasted quantity, you'll see that currently it's zero. That's because we have one in stock, but we already committed this one to our customer one for our sales order. So now we can deliver this out to the customer and we'll validate, send it out to the customer. There's also another way that we can accomplish relatively the same thing. So we can use reordering rules. So I'll remove this MTO. And instead I'm going to set reordering rules on this product. And the reordering rules are actually just going to be 0, 0. And this will allow us to produce units. So we have 0, 0 on warehouse stock. And we've created that. So now we have our reordering rule for this product and when someone orders it, our scheduler will actually produce this one unit that's needed for that sales order. So now if I click in and create a new sales order for customer one with manufactured product, I'll save and confirm this. We don't see a manufacturing order tied to this product or tied to the sales order through a smart button. But you do see a new manufacturing order that was produced, and that's because our scheduler ran and produced the one unit that was needed. 
if we go to configurations and look at look at our reordering rules and we can click three dots and look at our trigger this is automatically triggered based on demand so our forecasted quantity was one so we needed one unit to produce so the system automatically created that one unit so now we can create mark this is done so we'll apply and now we can look at our products again we can go into our manufactured product and we'll see that this is still connected to sales order 2 reserved for sales order 2 the only difference here is that it's not relaying that information on the sales order so if that's no big deal to you then you can use reordering rules now we can just finish our flow here and deliver this out to the customer and that is how we can have made to order products you can do the same thing with purchased products so if a product was actually purchased and said of uh, manufactured we can do this so we'll say purchase MTO and all we need to do is make sure that we have a vendor set so we'll set vendor one and under inventory we have buy and replenish on order so now we'll save that and again if we go into sales and we create a new sales order we're going to now sell that purchased product once I confirm this is actually going to create a purchase order and a delivery order so we will purchase this on the demand from the from the sale once we confirm this order we can receive this product and keep in mind we do have a sales order attached to this PO because it matches that based on the MTO route. So now we can send this out to the customer. And again, the same concept. If we go into inventory, we go to our reordering rules. We can create a new reordering rule for that purchase MTO. We'll have it zero zero and we'll set that and we'll go back to our product and deselect our replenish on order route we'll make one more sale for the same product and as you can see again the purchase order was not created for um, or linked to the sales order but if we go into our purchase app we see a sales order right here and you'll see the source document is sales order number four we can confirm this, receive our products in, and now we'll be able to ship those out to the customer. That's how you use MTO for purchasing or manufacturing.